you ready? Already finished setting up your Grange display? Yes, I, I saw the empty spot and I just went for it. I just did it. I, you didn't tell me to do it, but I did it. <laughs> so, yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? <laughs> Get out of the way, gamer pile. You're slowing things down over here. What is up, my pylons? It's me, Gamer. Gamer Pile! And I am back with another episode of my Stardew Valley Expanded Super Duper Modded Playthrough. And I don't know why I went through so many different different types of speaking there. What do they call that? Dynamic speaking? Yeah, that's what it was. I'll call it dynamic speaking. I've got my drink in my hand, my handy dandy notebook to write down any handy dandy notes. Most importantly, I got you. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support you've been showing me recently. The time that is valuable, your precious time, one of your most important commodities, and uh, the fact that you share it here with me. So thank you very much for being here today. Uh, golly, last time, what did we do? Last time, we went into the mines and we made it to level 120. We caught the angler fish, which is the fall fantastic fish. <gasps> Tomorrow's the fair. I have to get into Pelican Town between 9 and 3. Okay, good to know. Oops. I meant to do this guy. This guy. Got any tappers? Crafty foragers know how to build them. Yeah, I should probably I should probably start expanding that a little bit. But I haven't. I have not. Uh, so, yeah, we have to have 9 items for the Grange display. So, that's good to remember. And I... Wrote down a list somewhere. I'll have to find that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I wrote down a list somewhere of the types of things that they want to see. Uh, we recently had our own county fair over in uh, these parts, and um, yeah, those were actually. Uh, I didn't. Go Unfortunately, I didn't even go this year. Normally, I go. I enjoy doing the county fair quite a bit. As a matter of fact, it's a lot of fun. Um, plus all the food, that yummy, yummy food. I'm not going to lie, it's probably not the best part, but it's a good part. It is a good part, and that's for sure. Wait, 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 wait. Why did this die? Maybe it's not dead. Maybe it's not dead. Maybe it just looks dead on the outside. On the inside, it's it's alive and vibrant. Oh, I might actually be able to... I might actually be able to get these cows here today, which means I should... I actually want to keep another bin. Ugh. I'm really not going to have any wood left after I do all this stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I would like to have this right there. That's going to be where I keep it. I'll do these things. Let's see. Can I get you? No, not yet. Botchers is too young to produce milk. And so is Snuna. Snuna. I don't know why. I don't know why Snuna was my preferred name, but there we go. That's what you get. So I got two chicks out here. Two hens, I should say. Oh, no. I, I can't... How now, brown hen? Where did you go? I, d I know not. You blend in with the grass. There's one of you. Oh, I see you moving up there. <laughs> you think you're smart, huh? Well, you are. <laughs> Too smart for me. Let's check in here. I know I need that golden egg, which means I can take out one of them. And I'll take that one so I can put that one back. Okay, so I have four eggs here that I can make the mayo with. Oh, you get a pretty good amount of energy with these, actually. I'm not going to lie. All right, so we got four eggs going. Four mayos going, I mean. And we can take another... We're almost out of iron ore. Holy cow, I didn't realize that. So I guess we're going to... I guess we're going to do that. Drop off this iron ore and hot dang, or iron bars and hot dang. I don't even know what to do about that. I feel like that's a thing that we should have plenty of, and we definitely don't. All right. What are we doing now? Well, the, okay, the, the pumpkin seeds. How much longer on the pumpkin seeds? If I have to sell 100 pumpkins, 13 days. Oh, boy. I don't even know if I could do any more today. Can we do some quick math to see how many pumpkin seeds we might have? So eight. So we'll do this. Okay. Okay. We'll do this this way. Uh, that's going to be seven. 
there's one there. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so 13 plus whatever we're about to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, we'll say 13. 13 times 8 is, oh, that's a lot. Uh, 80, 24, 104. Oh, we're currently growing more than we need. So we're currently growing more over 100. We should be good. The question is, do I find two plots of land with which to plant these pumpkin seeds? And you know what? I think I'm going to. We'll take, we'll kick this up and drop. Oh, that is, that's not the thing I wanted. I will plant one here. And then I will plant, you know, I'm going to plant one right here. Just, I don't want these seeds to sit here for a year. What a waste that would be, right? Okay, so those are two two special plants right there, and that'll do just fine. And we'll throw you right there. All right, now we've got a now we've got a path too. Well, what would you look at that? Okay, so what are we gonna do today? We need a bunch of wood. We need a bunch of wood, and I want to start thinking about getting uh, expansions for all of our barns, house. We need the we need the kitchen. We need the kitchen the expansion for the coops and the barns so we in order to get all those things we need a lot of wood we need a lot of wood actually this would be a good time to chop down this tree take the tapper off of it and chop down this tree so i think we're going to clear out the farm a little bit and then and then we will um i'll go into the forgotten forest or the hidden forest i should say That'll be good. And then maybe, I don't know, what else will we do? What else will we do? Those ones aren't done. I'm not going to take care of those quite yet. But these are. I, I think it's a forage day, folks. I, I hate to say that, but I think it's a forage day. And then tomorrow we will get all of the... All we'll, Tomorrow we'll have the fair, so we'll be able to do the Grange display. That'll actually be a lot of fun. Okay, I cleared out a bunch of wood. I am down to two energy, and that's it. I might have to do some foraging. It's only 3.30 in the afternoon, but I do realize that I have another maple syrup. So I'm going to build another bee house and throw that bad boy right over here. Oh, oh, I have a, I have a keg over here. Why don't I have any of my hops in there? Let's throw this hops in there. There we go. That thing should be working overtime. And now we've got these, one, two, three, four. We've got four uh, mayonnaise we can sell because we have a sufficient amount of golden mayonnaise. And then we're gonna literally just go and we're gonna relax. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time relaxing. Of good time in this. I uh, am excited because tomorrow is gonna be that, be that, uh, that fair. The county fair, you might say. So we need to, uh, you know, maybe I'll find something good if I if I run around a little bit. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. Maybe something to harvest. Maybe there's something on sale over here. Is a car in? Is a car in today? Nope. I didn't actually even get into the for the hidden forest or forgotten forest. I forgot what it's called. Shoot. I did not get get in there today. I ended up um, I ended up just spending the whole time in my own yard cutting down trees so sometimes that happens in life you, you just spend the whole time in your own yard cutting down trees but now that i'm over here in the expanded cinder sap forest which i'm so excited about this is one of my this might be the favorite a favorite part of the mod for me because i'm down here i'm not going to go too deep in but i'm down here in this part of the forest and uh, there's there's uh, there's so much that I can do. It's just a huge expansion, a huge expansion. That's the kind of thing I like. So I'm gonna go. I'm clearing out the grass because the more grass you clear out, the more chance you'll have nodes um, pop up for for uh, foraging stuff. So if I get all of this out, it shouldn't spread. And so that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. That's where I'm going with this. That's where I'm going with this. Oh, I have an, an interesting anecdote story. I, when I say interesting, I really mean mildly interesting. Don't get your hopes up out there in uh, in, in YouTube land. It's mildly interesting. But I, I thought it was just mildly interesting myself. So I always teach 
some of you know that I'm a, and actually I'm a chorus teacher. Like that's what I do for a living. And uh, if you've ever wondered about the amazing singing I do, <laughs> just check out my short from the other day or a couple weeks ago from when I when I showed off how great I do summer loving from Greece. Uh, I did both parts. I did both parts, both John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, um, I always teach one of the best songs, in my opinion, as uh, to use as a warm-up because of uh, many characteristics. From the uh, not to get too technical, but uh, from this, it's stepwise motion, it's tessitura, the whole thing. It's just it's a very good song for the middle school students for whom I uh, am their teacher. And so I always do My Country Tis of Thee. Now, of course, those of you that know My Country Tis of Thee, you know that the tune goes like, My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. So that's the idea of the of the tune. But a lot of people don't realize, at least a lot of Americans, don't realize that, that that's actually the British national anthem. And for the last, you know, 70 years, it's been, you know, God save our, uh, uh, and it's not righteous. Oh, good Lord. What is the name of the, the word? Our, it's not righteous. It's a two syllable word. That's a descriptor word. It's an adjective for a person. I don't remember what it is. Uh, I'll just say righteous because I can't remember what it is and I feel bad. Sorry, Brits. Sorry, Brits. But for the past 70 years, it's been God save our righteous queen. Long live the noble queen. God save the queen. 70 years is more than I would bet anyone watching this video has been alive. And since that's the case, uh, as, as I'm sure most of you have heard by now, uh, Queen Elizabeth II did pass. And uh, with all, all due condolences to the parents, I know some people are trying to co-opt this as a time to talk about the evils of imperialism. This is not that time, and I don't think it should be something that we focus on right now. There's a family grieving. Whether you agreed with them or not, there's a family grieving. And we should, at the very least, honor and honor that and, and uh, respect them. So, um, anyways, that's me coming off my soapbox. <laughs> slash our soapbox. And, um, well, now, it's one of the few countries where the... The national anthem actually changes depending upon who the monarch is and or who the leader is. And it is true that now um, the words are God save the king, obviously. Uh, king Charles III, which sounds interesting. It, it just sounds it, it, it's uncomfortable for me almost. Um, I didn't grow up in England or anything like that. So it's not something that I ever tried out listening to or hearing someone else say or saying it myself. But the other day, I actually was introducing my country tis of the, and I was like, you know what? Let's talk about this for a second. And I showed, I, I told him about it. I, I was like, hey, this is a this is a major world event. You know, even our president is going to fly over there to be there and uh, and to honor, pay his respects and honor um, Queen Elizabeth II um, in repose. So uh, it, it, I have to say, it's pretty. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. And so I wanted to impress upon that with my students, and I told them I was like, listen. Chances are really good that zero people in our building right now, students, teachers, even their parents, probably even their grandparents, have never sung what we're about to sing. And we sang God Save the King as our warm-up song that day. Um, I, it, it's just, it kind of boggles the mind almost to think about. Like, the man's been, the man is over 70, right? He's over 70 years old. I'm going to just go to bed, by the way, because, oh, I'm going to drop off some blackberries first. There we go. Um, the man is over seven. He's over seventy years old. Um, it it kind of it boggles the mind. Oh, blackberries! Holy blackberries, Batman! How do I have a golden blackberry? Maybe that's some something I should bring tomorrow. I might bring that tomorrow. That's not a bad idea. A golden blackberry. Okay. Okay. Very well. Very well. I accept. Uh, so it's it's kind of just to me it's fascinating because. 70 years we've sung this one thing and no one no one almost no one around has been in a time when it was appropriate to sing God save the king even though that's the actual name of the anthem God save the king it's not God sa God save the queen it's God save the king I'm choosing things now that I can bring with me I'm trying to find some golden or oh we'll do some iridium stuff 
How about this guy? We'll do an Iridium Smallmouth Bass. I'm planning for tomorrow, okay? Okay. I have forage already. Why don't we take... I don't have any wine. I don't have any wine or anything like that done right now. Oh, that's a shame. What if I took an oak rosin? And... I could take a golden bar. I don't know that I'm allowed to bring gold bars, but we're going to take it anyways. I could take a food. Oh, I could take a food. If I took Autumn's Bounty, I wonder what that would do for me. Oh, and it's late already. Uh, and then I need to take... I, I need to take some kind of a... Some kind of a crop. What about a golden blueberry? That would be good. We'll take it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven things right now. I need at least two more. I don't know that the golden bar is going to be one that I can use. Forage. Why is there forage in here? What's forage? Some forage going here? Yes, forage goes in here. Blackberry. Can I grow blackberries? Maybe I could do. Maybe I could get away with that. Oh, uh, let's do a red mushroom. No, let's do a purple mushroom. Let's do a purple mushroom. A golden purple mushroom, no less. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What else am I going to bring, people? What else am I going to bring? Um, I don't think that counts. I really don't think that counts. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How about some of these minerals? Yes. We'll bring a diamond. And we will bring... I don't think I want to have an artifact. We're not going to bring that. I have two petrified slimes. That's old. And two thunder eggs. Angry thunder spirits would throw these stones at one another. That's fantastic. I've also got some, also got some topaz. Plenty of amethyst. You know, I'll just bring a bunch of things. And when something, when I, when I give something and it's like, oh yeah, that looks good, then, then that's what I'll do. Yeah, there you go. I, I have a bunch of things here. That's how we're going to roll. And we're gonna go to bed. Uh, so yeah, we sang we sang "God Save the King" um, on on last week, shortly after the actual um, announcement, and it was pretty interesting. Like this, some of the students they were really you could tell they were thinking about it and, and really starting to understand where it fits into the world, where they fit into the world, and where that day fit into their lives. So it was pretty it was pretty cool. It was all in all, I feel like it was a good teaching moment. So, and I, I have the flexibility to be able to do that because I don't have to teach to any test. So that's good. Uh, tomorrow's going to be cloudy with gusts of winds. And today it's going to be... Uh, luck will not be on our side, but that's okay because we're going to the festival. We got a lot of stuff done in here. Oh, great. So then we got we to gotta drop everything into here. All This is all the stuff we're bringing. Don't bring anything else. And I'm going to go ahead and do this and then we'll run over to the actual festival. It starts at 9, I think, but it goes till 3, so I have enough time that I could maybe run around to some other places. Those aren't done, those aren't done, those aren't done, those aren't done. That still looks dead, and I'm worried about it. Um, maybe, hopefully nothing else dies. Oh, I do need to water some vegetables. And then we'll go over there. Yay, we're here. Oh, this is so good. Oh, oh, that's right. I don't know if you can see this because I'm a big fat face, but there's uh, this is the one with the star tokens. So, oh, and it looks like there's a few other things here than, than we typically see. Um, okay, okay, well, let's start here at the shop. Oh, that's trading in the star crows. Oh, that's right, we need the rare crow. I'm running out of space, naturally, and a star drop. Mysterious fruit empowers those who eat it the flavor. So we, we definitely want to get that one. 2,000. 2,000 of those things. So we definitely need that. 100 hay. Oh, that's convenient to have that set for the winter. We might get that too. Light green rug would be good. A fedora. Oh, I do want the fedora. I forgot about the fedora. So we want a lot. Okay, so we're going to have to go ahead and we're going to, we're going to buy some stuff today. we got to win some coins to get some coins, but... Woodworking is an ancient tradition that I'm very proud to be part of. I really admire Robin's carpentry skills. I used use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work. What do you do for a living? Robin really works hard on her carpentry stuff. She deserves a little recognition now and again. Man, her, her building in my house was awesome. It looks great. This is not the one with the maze. That's right. So we got to come up here and do this. Mm, this barbecue sauce is amazing. I got some great barbecue sauce in Virginia Beach. Oh, what was the name of the place? I don't remember. It was about uh, four blocks, though, 
from um, from Atlantic Avenue down near 10th, 12th, 15th Street, somewhere in that ballpark. And it was really good. If you ever get down there, there's a barbecue place there. It's really good. I actually bought a mason jar of the barbecue sauce to bring home because it was that yummy. Some zucchini skewers, maybe? Oh, there's no oh, smoked turkey haunch. I guess this festival isn't all bad. <laughs> Uh, eat as much as you like. It's all free today. Compliments of Mayor Lewis. Oh, make sure to dribble some of my secret sauce on there. Oh, dang. That's cool. I got plus 74 energy twice. Or at least once. <laughs> huh. I'm trying to get Gus to tell me his sauce recipe, but he won't budge. Yeah, well, who's this? Oh, a tourist. I think I've eaten about 4,000 calories worth of food so far. Totally freaking worth it. This barbecue sauce is to die for, man. Yeah, well. I got another one. 74, 74 more energy. I guess that's all I needed was the 74 energy. And now I'm done. I guess I could say. Tourist, tourists. Tourists can take the pumpkins home with them. Who's this now? Hello, miss. So nice to see you. Welcome. Welcome to Stardew Valley. Oh, this pumpkin is... Oh, this pumpkin! This is the pumpkin we should bring back home. It'll make the perfect jack-o'-lantern, honey. Oh, boo! Who are you? You want to take this pumpkin home, boo? I okay. <laughs> this may be poor timing for what I just said, but how can you possibly date someone that says boo? <laughs> that was great timing. Oh, sorry. I must say, this Stardew Valley is beautiful this time of year. I came all the way from. Just a veil, just to get a pumpkin. The best crops are grown here in this very valley. The soil is extremely rich because of a long ago meteor shower. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know all about that. Oh, look at these dudes. Dude, a pumpkin doesn't look natural. Man, that pumpkin is huge. This pumpkin's massive. Good luck to anyone trying to take this home. <laughs> okay. Touche, touche. Nice, nicely done, game. Nicely done. Good luck. Good luck. Whoa. All right. My ga my Grange display is going to be over there. I'm pressing my best. Oh, gosh. I don't want to fight against Sophia. I'm presenting my best aged wine from Blue Moon Vineyard. I worked hard to make these. Oh, um, so what's in your Grange display? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm going to wipe the floor with you, Sophia. I'm just kidding. But I am. Are you setting up a Grange display pile? It's your chance to show off all the good produce from Animal. Animal Farm? Excuse me, get it right. I tried my best, but my Grange display is pretty weak compared to Pierre's. That is a massive cheese wheel. There's nothing there to be ashamed of. It's all about the cheese. My store carries the very finest pro quality products in the whole valley. Please, inspect my Grange display closely and see for yourself. Almost said grossly. Pierre is very serious about his Grange display. He's been setting aside the best-looking produce for weeks in preparation. Hey, best of luck if you enter. All right, what do we got here? I think I need to pay. Goliath. Hey there, kiddo. I see you eyeing someone you fancy. You can't hide that from me. I, Goliath, see all. This strength game will surely impress him. If you have the strength, that is. <laughs> okay, so what do I do? Please stand at the red arrow. I'm standing at the red arrow? I can't stand at the red arrow. It doesn't let me. Can I come around the backside? Nope. Oh. Oops. Strength level 0x. That's great. Oh, there's a little delay on that. Lumberjack. Okay, one more time. Strength level gorilla. Oh, that was that was no good. Gym teacher. Oh, there it is. There it is. I got it now. Ah, uh, now that's what I like to see. Here, have a star token. Oh, I got me one star token. I only have to do this 2,000 more times. Well, 1,999 more times. That was a good year. That's a tourist. There's a tourist. Hello, tourist. I visit Starville Dew Valley every year for the fair. I brought little Timothy along this time. I already beat all the games. Now what? Now you can get out of my way. 
Okay. So, 50 gold a per... Yikes. I know that there's somewhere... Which I heard about you in a paper a while ago. You cleaned that farm up good. Wow, I'm famous. I'm famous. They know me. I won the Wheel of Chance 10 times in a row, and now the man won't let me play anymore. I'm horrible at throwing darts. There goes another 15G. I am going to play the games eventually, but let's go ahead and I'm just going to use this opportunity to get everybody going. I will come back later after I've got all this stuff. This is getting boring because he's, he's, he's only juggling one ball. <laughs> oh, look at this. Can I buy stuff from you too? But I take pride in my work. These are finest pieces. I hope you like them. Can I see them? Something high quality bronze, iron, and gold bars. There are also some weapons he crafted, plus a shield. They are superb. Noise. Uh oh, what's up with this guy? I can't even get to him. <laughs> that creepy old bald man is littering everywhere. <laughs> that is fantastic. What's this now? Someone was playing kickball here recently. That's a soccer ball, not a kickball. I know the difference. Who do you think I am? Some kind of punk? I'm not a punk. Well, not that kind of a punk. Kill. I see you straight away from the crowd, farmer. Or should I say adventurer? You've been venturing for deep into the mines. Or oh, so Marlin tells me. This is good, as good an opportunity as any. You're doing the guild proud. Thank you. Now, you should go back and enjoy yourself, adventurer. Okay, I will. Rickon, mm, can I help you with something? Nope, guess not. All right, Mer Merlin is, well, look at I have known each other for a long time. She is a remarkable diviner and a good friend. Mm. That clown, I know him from somewhere. Was it the School of Illusion? Or maybe the Carnival of Secrets? Hmm. Nice. I don't know who that is either. Let me go check them out. I don't want a fortune because I don't have a... Well, I could do it. Why not? Let's do the fortune. Read my fortune for 100 gold. Laying on a cot. Looks like a hospital. Linus is there to keep you company while you recover. What a nice friend. Ooh, it's dark. And I see you and a certain young lady. She looks a little bashful, but happy to be with you. Hmm. Now, what's this young lady's name? I believe it starts with an S. Like Sophia. Sweet. It's almost like it knows which one I have the most hearts with. The crystal ball has moved on. Ah, you're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark. But you seem more than ready to face it. Ah, the crystal ball has gone dim. That's all I can tell you, can do for you, young one. Now, keep in mind that... The future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed if you set your heart on it. Farewell. All right, cool beans. Cool beans. Is it just, uh, still just Rickon hanging out there. Frickin' Rickon. That's not his name. Her name is Freya? Wait a second. Don't we talk about her at some, some point? All right, I'm going to play some games and... Uh, Maybe hopefully win some prizes. Now, I have played the fishing game a couple of times and even done the... the oh, shoot. And even done the uh, the spin the wheel a couple of times. Because I'm, I'm getting them go them star tokens. I had, I think I'm up over 4,000. It's either 4,000 or 6,000. I'm not really sure which. Uh, so we're going to do this fishing game one more time. Let's see what we can catch. Oh, my gosh. The monkey is this all about? Seriously, why are we getting only the, uh, is it algae or seaweed? It looked like seaweed to me. Darn it. So we have less, or, or just over a minute now, we've only caught one fish. And it wasn't even a perfect fish. This one looks like it could be perfect. Okay, good. So we get a perfection bonus from that one. And let's try again. It's only There are two type of fish in here. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that a rainbow trout or something? I don't know that I've ever caught a rainbow trout before. Ooh, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello there. Why, hello there. It's a, it's a General Grievous is up in this place. Obi-Wan is just about to have a fit. Oh. Oh. Go, Perfection. Good job. 
Good job. Okay, 30 seconds left. We're still struggling. We don't even ha we haven't even broken 100 yet. 100 points. Come on. I'm hoping to clean them out, actually, in terms of items they have. I definitely have enough to get the star drop. That's the most important, obviously, but... Oh, there goes my perfection bonus. I lost my perfection on a chub. <laughs> oh, oh, we're going to get this last one, though, it seems. Well, now, what happens if we don't capture it by zero? I'm actually kind of interested to see. I would have been interested to see what happens. Do we? Uh, maybe someone saw right above my face here. Did it go to zero before I caught the fish, or what? 372 star tokens. That's not great. Oh, 6,512. All right, that's not terrible. I might come over here and play a little game. But let's go over and see what we can't buy. Buying the star drop. Aw, oh, yes, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Look at my face. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm going super cyan over here. Your mind is filled with thoughts of bacon. Oh, bacon. My maximum energy level has been increased. Next thing we need to get is the rare crow. That could be placed right there. I want the fedora, but I guess I have to set up my Grange dis display first. When we come over here, and I'm assuming this is mine. Yes, it is. Okay. So we'll set you there. We'll set you there. Um, a diamond. Um, fish. This one will do that. Oh, I can put the gold bar in there. Wow, interesting. I have a fruit. I'm going to put the blueberry in instead. And I, I want a vegetable. This is considered a vegetable, but what do I take out in order to put this in there? That's the question. I suppose I'm going to take out... Oh, I'll take out that. I'll take out that. Okay. Okay, that's good. And then that wood is because I chopped a bunch of trees down on my way here this morning. I went up on the north path, and I, I definitely came through uh, that direction. <laughs> uh, that's I'm sorry. It is funny. It, it is funny. I don't care who you is, but it is funny. I'm going to go ahead and get some hay. I'm going to get a light green rod. And why don't we get the dried sunflowers? It's, it's the only place we can get them. We are out of stock. I've spent all of my, all of my star tokens. You know what I should do? I should come down here and I should actually do this the wheel spinny dude until I am out. Let's just see how much we can get. Um, I guess I have to do it this way. 216. Okay. Let's go. This will be I'll, I'll lose on the first round. This is this would be very typical of me to go all this way, put all, go all in and lose. Oh no. Oh, oh I actually won. Wow, 4000. Can I make money from them selling star tokens for 50 a piece oh i do kind of want to i wanted to try this game one time the slingshot game no you know what i really don't, i really don't want to play this game i've re i remember playing this game before and being so frustrated with it i was just like not nope. not nope. forget it i'm done let's do uh four thousand gold and see what we get then do, do, do. I've heard tell that green is the color to go with. I'm not exactly sure how it works out, but apparently green has a higher probability of being chosen. And if these last two, there's a good sample size for you. These, If these last two are indicative of success, then they're correct. <laughs> Let's go with three. Two out of three ain't bad. Oh, 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 look at that. We did get it. Oh, 99.99. That must be like the maximum. I wish I could sell these. I wish I could sell these. Okay, where's the mayor? It's time to start this Grange display. Well, Pyle, it's the big day. Our most important festival of the year. The Stardew Valley Fair. If you'd like to participate by setting up a Grange display, I've left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you set everything up so we can get to the judging. I've set everything up. Oh, are you ready? Already finished setting up your Grange display? Yes, I, I saw the empty spot, and I just went for it. I just did it. I, you didn't tell me to do it, but I did it. <laughs> so, yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? <laughs> Get out of the way, gamer pile. You're slowing things down over here. Oh, wait. Who's this guy? Cheese wheel's huge. I wonder if that lady will be selling, willing to sell it. Oh, we just go into every display to find out all the things. I'm going to go ahead and drink to that. I got my uh, Captain America cup today. See that? 
Cap. Good old Cap. Which reminds me, my son has decided he wants to have a YouTube ch gaming channel also. He'll be playing a lot of Minecraft. He, and the channel's name is Bucky Barnes Gaming. So if you have not checked it out yet, would you please, would you please check out Bucky Barnes Gaming? Well, here goes nothing. Good luck to you, farmer. Uh, definitely check that out. Bucky Barnes, one, all one word. Gaming is the second word. Oh my gosh, this guy is Slowpoke McCoke. <sighs> Your Grange display has been judged. Return to the mayor. Oh, that's not the mayor talking. It's just... Congratulations! You won first place with a rating of 98. I don't know if it's out of 100, but if it is, that means I did darn good. A thousand star tokens, um, and... Uh, <laughs> a thousand star tokens, which I cannot even take. So I'm going to leave the blueberry. Take the gold bar. Take the food. I'll take the gold mayonnaise and the iridium fish and the diamond. Oh, no. I cannot take the, all of those things. What to do, then? What to do? I feel like hardwood is easier to get, obviously, than the diamond, so we're going to do that. Hmm. I bought too many things from the display case. What do I do now? The blueberry. I don't have a lot of golden blueberries. I do want that golden purple mushroom, though. <laughs> it's not going to happen, I don't think. Oh, yes it is. Because I already have a golden blue mu purple mushroom right there. Do, do, do. Uh, I would like the hops and the hardwood, but I don't think those are going to happen. That's okay. That's okay. We're fine. We're fine. All right. Is it time to go home? I think it's time to go home. It's time to go home. And it's time to, to to leave. I don't have any prizes. Yeah, I've already bought everything. Oh, wait, wait. Let's talk to these folks. What's this now? Sebastian's motorcycle. Goku's got a... No, it's not Goku. It's kind of hectic today. I'm going to hang out here for a while. Hi there, my name is Rebecca. I'm a friend of these two dorks here. <laughs> I live in Zuzu City and I came here for the Stardew Festival. She seems cool. Hey, pile. Having a good time? Kamehameha. The slingshot tent is pretty fun and if you get good at it, you can really rack up the star tokens. I'm not good at it. I cannot rack up the star tokens. But we're going to head out of here. The festival is over. And we are home. All right, that actually ended up being a pretty good day. I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad that I am glad that I got all of the hay. That's gonna help me get through the winter, just in case. I wasn't certain that that would if I had enough or not. I wanted to make sure that I that I picked up what I ne might have needed. Uh, we have a couple of fun things here, though. That rare crow, for example, and the fedora. It's time to wear the fedora. Ah, you buddy. That means that we gotta put Oh, this is the last thing that will fit in here. The Squire's helmet's away. And uh the Fedora is in. Oh yeah, look at that. Camera pile looking dope over here. Let's uh collect our things. It's only ten o'clock. It's only ten o'clock. Do you know where your children are? I do. What's this? Foraging. Oh wow, that's so funny. Because I did the survival burger. I got five minutes and oh well, I must have had six minutes. Um of plus three foraging. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with that. But we're going to go ahead and, and um, drop off all of our stuff. And then we're going to place the green carpet, the dried sunflowers, and the rare crow. And I'll be back in a minute. All right, green carpet. I wish I could rotate it. How do I rotate it? Can, can't I rotate it? Um, I'm going to place that... I guess I'll place it right there. Give us something. Give give a place for a good old um, for the good old girl to sit at. And then where do I put the this though? I guess I can set it right over there. All right. So there we go. I guess. I guess. I guess that's what we're gonna do. I don't know if this is gonna be here tomorrow when we wake up, but if it is, maybe we'll do some foraging tomorrow. In the meantime, you'll see lots of great videos right here. Lots of things you might enjoy because you've enjoyed it so far. I mean, at least you didn't X out of the tab this far. Thus far? This far? Either way, it probably works. Uh, so thank you for that. Check out the videos you see because they are awesome and I want you to watch them because I care about you. Leave a comment down below. Let me know you're here so I can write back. As always, my pylons. Last but not least, stay safe and be well.